Hello there, and welcome to Storytime. I'm going to be reading to you today from the Bear Family Treasury. It's all about the Berenstain Bears, written by Jen and Mike Berenstain. Very popular book, and it's made of several stories, and I'll read one of the stories from this treasury, this Bear Family Treasury, today. The one I'd like to read today is called God Bless Our Home. A wonderful lesson for all of us. And there's the family. We can all thank God for our family. It starts out here. The Bear family, who lived down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country, loved their treehouse home. They lived inside a great hollow old oak tree. They moved there when Brother Bear was little, from a cave way up in the mountains. That was before Honey or Sister Bear were ever born. And there they are, moving. The first thing that Mama Bear did when they moved into the new home, was hang a framed sampler on the wall. It said, God bless our home. That's just what we need, said Papa. God's blessings will make our new tree house into a happy home. At first, the treehouse was just a living room with a kitchen downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. When sister was born, she shared the bedroom with brother. There was an attic nestled in the tree's thick upper branches too. But the attic soon filled up with all the bear's extra stuff. There were chests of old clothes, unused baby carriages, and old fashioned record players and radios. The treehouse quickly started to seem a little cramped for a growing family. But then Papa set to work. There's the attic. What's Papa Bear going to do? Well, first Papa dug a basement among the oak trees, great roots. That gave them plenty of room to store their things. Later, he built a garage for the car next to the house. The papa soon began to use the garage for his workshop and began parking the car in the driveway. All in all, all in all, the treehouse was a fine place to live. The thick wood of the tree trunk kept them warm in the winter. The spreading oak leaves above kept the house shady and cool in the summer. Winter, summer. Brother and sister Love to lie in bed in the evening and fall asleep to the sound of crickets and katydids in the branches outside. In the morning, they woke to the sound of a mockingbird singing the copycat song at their open window. And there's the mockingbird singing in the springtime. The bear's treehouse made a home for other creatures too. A woodchuck dug his burrow under the front steps. A family of chipmunks made their home in the woodpile. A pair of sparrows nested in the birdhouse out back and swallows built their nests of mud in the rafters of the garage. Papa had to duck when the swallows came swooping in to feed their babies. As the good book says, Papa explained, 
Even the sparrows have found a home and the swallow a nest for herself. The bear family was very happy in their tree house. It's true, it was a little small. And when baby honey came along, it suddenly seemed even smaller. Hmm. At first, mom and papa just put honey's crib in their room alongside their bed. That was okay. While she was very small, Honey needed to be near them anyway. Uh-oh. But when Honey started to grow, it wasn't so fine. She started climbing out of her crib in the middle of the night and crawling into bed with Mama and Papa. She would sleep between them sideways and kick them in the stomach. Mama and Papa weren't getting enough sleep. See, they look tired. One morning at breakfast, a sleepy papa said to sleepy mama, you know, maybe it's time we thought about moving to a bigger house. Hmm, said mama, half asleep. Maybe you're right. But brother and sister overheard them. Move to a bigger house, they both said. No way, we love our tree house. We love it too, said Mama, but I'm afraid it's getting too small for our growing family. Honey really needs a room of her own. And there's no garage for our car, added Papa. I have been parking in the, in the drive for years now. When it snows, I have to shovel it out every time. But there must be a way to make more room and keep living right here, said Brother. They just must. Yes, agreed sister. We just need to put our thinking caps on. Maybe you're right, said Papa Bear. We probably could make more room somewhere. Hmm, let's look things over and see, suggested Mama. So the family took a tour of the tree house, inside and out, looking into every room, poking into every nook and peering into every cranny. Papa got out his tape measure and made some notes. The family finished touring up in the attic. Bears found a lot of things up there they hadn't seen in years. There they are, looking about the house. Making a list. Sing. Look, said Mama. Here's my old trumpet from the Bear Country High School marching band. She put it to her lips and blew a few notes. I wonder if I can still play Carnival of Venice. She tried it out. Brother and sister put their hands over their ears. Mama, they said, please. <coughs> I think I know what to do, said Papa. As they trooped down from the attic, I can enlarge the basement and move some things down from the attic. Then I can divide off part of the attic into a little room for honey. That would work nicely, said Mama. What about the car? Simple, said Papa. I'll just build a shed onto the side of the garage and park it in there. That will keep the car out of the snow. Yeah, yelled the cubs. We can stay in our tree house. God bless our home. 
the next day. With the cub's help, Papa set to work. They dug and carried and sawed and hammered and sanded, plastered, painted, and cleaned like a family of busy beavers, doing all this work to improve the home. Finally, after many days of hard work, it was all finished. Honey had a room of her own. See? And the family car had a place to sleep. You know, said Papa, as he looked over their brand new home, this isn't a bad little place after all. Not bad, said the cubs. It's the best little place in the whole wide world. Yes, said Mama, and above all, it's our own home, sweet home. She pointed to the old frame sampler on the wall. May God always bless our happy home. And I hope that God blesses you in your home. It's he that gave you your home, gave you every member of your family, and we ought to be thankful always for the family that we have. And remember to get along, and even in the hard times of life, to thank God and ask him to bless our home.